Hi you all, this is Susan from Susan's Prairie Orchids and I wanted to show you some of my uh, mounted orchids that I have. Um, I'll start first with this um, this is a Cattleya I believe. This is one of my real old orchids um, that I've lost all the name tags to and I'm not that familiar when I just see <laughs> C1. So anyway, um, I dug her out of the dirt and was trying about eight months ago to try to help her look a little better and um, start taking care of her. And I think she just loves it. As you can see, she's, she's doing great. She is mounted on cork with uh, Spanish moss and coconut husk and then I've tied her on with raffia ribbon and you can see she has lots of new roots growing, new root tips growing and lo and behold I believe that this could be a bloom I think, I pray it is it has been so long since this plant has bloomed that I really don't remember what, what it looks like. So I think that may be what it is. I think it's a bloom stem. So I am utterly delighted about that. Then I have one I'll move over here. This is a Phalaenopsis that I have. I mounted on... Malaysian driftwood. This was a mini fowl that uh, actually I brought home from Florida and she quit blooming and so I mounted her, oh I don't know, maybe a couple of weeks ago on this Malaysian driftwood, same way on with the Tied her on with the moss and the coconut husk. And then I have this little, um, this is a little Vanda that I have. And this is the name, and I'm not even going to begin to try to pronounce it because I don't know but I'm praying that when it comes time for her to bloom it will look like that and she's she's a little tiny but believe it or not she has grown it's not very good she has doubled in size since I got her and look how tiny she is now just the width of my length of my finger. So anyway, she is mounted on Malaysian drip, driftwood also. And then I have this little fowl. Um, I believe this is a, yeah, that's her name. Little Gem Stripes, uh, and she's a hybrid, and is, I think, I think supposed to be relatively small. She's doing quite well. See her little bloom, I mean her uh, little green root tip there, so she's loving that. This is another fowl I have mounted. And this is a panda. Phalaenopsis panda. I've had her on this mount for probably, I'm going to say, probably six months anyway. And she seems to be quite happy. You can see the root tips on her. Nice and green. And then I have this um, 
This is another little mini fowl. This is one I brought home from Florida. And she wasn't quite blue, quite through blooming, but uh, she had two bloom stems that were were just loaded, and um, she still has about three little buds to come out yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get her mounted. And so I've got her, her done. She's been on there a couple of weeks. And I think she's doing just fine. She's got nice little green roots. Her, lip, her leaves are a little, a little limp. I think maybe needs a little more water. Uh, I think that's what one of the girls on YouTube told me. So um, I am trying to give her a little bit of more moisture, firm up those leaves a little bit. They're not too bad, but. And then I have this. Um, this is another Vanda. This is my Fuchs Ocean Spray, and I believe y'all. Uh, if you watched any of my other uh, videos, I mounted this one about, I remounted this one. I, I already, I've had it mounted for probably six or seven months. But, um, and it's doubled, maybe more than, tri maybe tripled in size since I got her. So, um She's loving that. She has nice green roots, and um, I really love her. I'm very excited to see her grow it's kind of, or bloom. She's going to be purple flowers. So I'm excited about that one when she finally takes off. And then my last one, this is another uh, fowl. Um, this was a... I think it was a mini, it was another mini fowl, um, although it's bigger, the plant, <laughs> she's taken off, so I, I, don't know, I assumed that she was mini because her bloom stem was real small and her, and her leaves were pretty small, but hi George, she's, her leaves are looking pretty big, so, and I, again, I don't know anything about any kind of name. All I know is that uh, she was kind of a pink with with uh, spots. That's the way I identified her. Uh, but that's all that I don't have any names. These came from, like I said, Florida and they did not have any names on them. So, uh, let's see. I have one more. This one is another Catlia. Um, this is the name. It's a Brassa. Brassa it's a cross of so Brassavola, a cat, and Epidendrum. Um, Brassa Catlia. And her name is Golden. Golden. The name was. It's a golden azale. Uh, I can't remember. Lemon chiffon. So anyway, that is that is the extent of my mounted orchids. I guess I have three, four, five, six, seven, I have eight. And I really like mounted orchids. Orchids. They are a little bit a little bit more work, but that's okay. Um, I guess that's all. This is Susan at um, Susan's Prairie signing off. Bye.